what the hell's the universe? You guys are probably laughing, because I literally, because basically I just turned 18. The gifts thing has just become a feature for me, because I wasn't allowed it before. So, like, I'm new to this. I'm literally so sorry. Thank you so, so, so much. Wait. I'm literally trying to figure this out. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I am literally so... Thank you for the rose, Caitlin. How are you doing? Um... <clears throat> Oh, I think this is, uh, I think somebody's sending a universe to someone else. You have a beautiful voice, thank you. Who's your favorite musical artist? There's so many, there's literally so many. I mean, I'm gonna have to name like top 10. I'd say, Lord. Okay, wait, actually, let's think about this. Lord is one of them. Conan Gray is another one. Um, Taylor Swift, her songwriting, it's always blown my mind away. Coldplay. I'm seeing them in August. I'm so excited. I literally can't wait. Uh, Harry Styles, Frank Ocean, Troy Sivan, um, Kamal. I don't know if anyone knows Kamal. He's like quite a. He's not that big yet, but he will become big. Cause he's literally insane. He's had a song out with Dave. Um, oh, thank you for the rose. Um, and who else? <clears throat> There's so many other people, I just can't think off the top of my head. Um, hello from France. Oh, I love France so much, my auntie lives in France. And I think I'm gonna go soon. I actually think I'm gonna go to France soon. Happy birthday, thank you. Can you sing? Oh, that, can, that like comment just like scrolled. Um, what is one of your favorite songs? That literally changes every week. Sorry, my voice my voice sounds so croaky right now. <laughs> my favorite song um, <clears throat> literally changes every week. So currently at this moment, "Fix You" by Coldplay. That song always like loops round. It always is so, at some point in every year. It's my favorite song. I love "Riptide" as well. Somebody just commented that. <laughs> um, thank you for the rose, Daniel. Or Danielle. Um, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, user 278. Oh my god. That was like party. It was like 3.14. I, I can't do it. I've completely forgot. I used to be able to like do... 3.14. Hold on, I actually know like 10 digits of pi, I swear. 3.14159265 3 3.14159265 3.14159265 3.14159265 3.14159265 3.14159265 3.14159265 I know 16 digits or pi That's a flex and a half I'm sorry I'll be whipping that out on the first date <laughs> How cringe would that be, though, on a reel? Can you sing something? I probably can, but I also can't because I don't want to wake up anyone in my family and my voice is a little bit croaky. Um, also, guys, random question. Has anyone got any suggestions for, like, content? Because <laughs> I'm so stuck. I feel like I'm doing the same type of content now. And I feel like I need to spice it up or like, oh, thank you for the rose. Um, and like, give a new idea, but I'm lost on ideas. So, but actually to be fair, if I like properly thought of one, I could think I could get one, but yeah, let me know if you've got any, that would mean a lot. It's like 10 o'clock, I know. That is the time that like my parents sleep, I know super early and I keep telling them that I don't get to bed till like honestly I don't get to bed till like one two and sometimes because like also I think I might have like a mild 
actually no, I don't want to like diagnose myself, but like a lot of the time I literally just don't sleep. Like I'll lie in bed for hours and like I'll be tired, but I just won't sleep. And it is the, it's literally torture. Like it's the worst thing when you can't sleep. Have you ever made any poor career choices? I mean, I'm only just turned 18, so at the moment, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, because every, like, I've, all, all that's happened before this is I've been in a band and then I was in school, and, like, I don't regret any of them, so. I gave you a lot of likes, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, like, spam the likes. I think it helps the live stream, maybe. Might as well give it a go. Um, same, I need to get sleep. Because tomorrow I need to go to football. Yeah, I need to get sleep because I've got a massive day tomorrow. Basically, so today... So I was on holiday this weekend and I came back today. But, like, I came back at three and I was meant to have a writing session, which is basically where you write songs with, like, producers and songwriters and I had to push it back because there was so much traffic and I finally got home and I had the songwriting session literally till like nine so I've just got off it and I'm knackered I'm so tired I'm ready for bed but I thought I'd come alive because I haven't done live stream in so long and also I need to watch the new series of Elite or Elite or however you pronounce it has anyone seen it? And if so, has anyone seen it? And if so, is it good? Um, I was about to sleep, but I changed my mind. I mean, honestly, my lives are not. You can hear my dad. <laughs> My lives aren't the most entertaining, so feel free to go to sleep. But if you want to stay and have a chat, stay. Do you have a girlfriend? I don't. I'm single. Single and honestly, doing fine. Um, which pop artist would you want to collaborate with? Li honestly, so many, but I'd probably say number one, Taylor Swift. Like a duet would be so fun. I love your vids. Your song has changed. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the rose. Oh my god, should I bring back the... I should bring back the t-shirt. Do I still have that? I have no idea if I've still got that t-shirt. But guys, basically... Oh, sorry about that. Basically, when I used to do TikTok lives... Like, so... Okay, so... TikTok used to... You used to be able to earn money from live streams at, like, any time. As in, people used to be able to, like, send you gifts at, like, any time. Like, you didn't have to be 18 before, like, way before, like, in 20, 2019, I think. So, I used to go live. Yeah, so I went live in 2019, and, like, there was one video, basically. So, basically, I started TikTok right at the end of 2019, and there was one video that blew up. And I was, like, so new to the app. So, when that video blew up, I went live because I was like, oh, my God, this is sick. I want to, like, try live streaming on TikTok. And then that live stream had like loads of views and then suddenly I didn't know the feature but people were sending money through. So I was like, this, like I need to like thank all these people. So I got a t-shirt together and like I wrote everyone's name on a t-shirt that was sending money because I don't even, because I don't know, like it was so, you, everyone that you didn't have, like I was just like literally asking people not to because it was like out of their way, like don't. But anyways, I wanted to like, show my gratitude so i wrote the names in the t-shirt and i called it the tiktok t-shirt and then i ended up transferring it to a ukulele in the end but like that's a long story but basically then they changed the rules so you had to be 16 and at the time i was 15 
So I was waiting till I was 16. On my 16th birthday, they changed it to, or like maybe a couple of days before, or maybe a couple of days after, they changed it to 18. So then the minute I turned 16, I had to wait till I was 18. And then the t-shirt was just sat in there in my wardrobe for like years. I mean, I did, I mean the ukulele, cause sorry, I transferred to a ukulele, I forgot about that. But, um, and then I did it for YouTube lives and I used it, but I need to, I don't know where it is. I need to bring it back because now, like the feature is back but don't send me money <laughs> can you sing for us i can like if i i'll go live tomorrow and i'll probably like sing but tonight probably probably not the best idea um if i don't wake up with like no voice share the live video you can share live videos sick guys share the live video <laughs> Can you give me a shout out for sending 2k likes? Of course I can. Zach L2202. Thank you for sending the mini. Oh my god, wait. Ah, I lost your name. How do you check? Thank you so much for sending the mini speaker. Oh. Oh, his name's gone. For heaven's sake. Uh, your live made my day. Oh, thank you. I look so trashy. Sorry, that was so pick me. I don't know why I said that. Are you an only child? No, I've got two sisters. And, like, at one point I had two sisters. Well, I still have two sisters. At one point I had two dogs. I still have two dogs. At one point I had two rabbits, four guinea pigs... Two dogs, two cats. I think that was it. All at the same time. And it was absolute chaos. It was literally a zoo in the house. And yeah, let's just say it drove us all a little bit into a mental breakdown. And then the rabbits ran away. And then the guinea pig got eaten by. <laughs> that's not funny, that's not funny. Basically, we were um, dog sitting our friend's Dalmatian and the Dalmatian ate one of the guinea pigs. I actually, like, I genuinely actually got quite emotional from that because I was like, what the hell? Didn't realize that could happen, but it happened. It was really sad. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of pets, I know. Do your best. Do your best. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I started it, but I'm not gonna finish it. Do you go to college? I do. I go to college in Fulham, which is in. Oh my god, look how crazy my hair is. Which is in West London. Somebody just sent me a text, but. Whoever that was, can you please resend that text? Because I didn't read it. But, um, yeah, it's in West London. And it's called BIM. I love your content. and Oh, oh my God, for heaven's sake. I watch you every night. Also, I appreciate your hard work. Thank you. I really appreciate comments like that, genuinely, because... Nice to know people acknowledge hard work. I love duetting you, thank you. Should I make more duet videos as well? That is genuinely, I'm genuinely like asking that because I don't want to overdo it, but I also love watching your duets. Um, but yeah, no, I go to college and on the side, literally, Honestly, at this point, college isn't even, like, the main part of my life because on the side of that, I'm going to, like, writing sessions, I'm doing social media as much as I can, I'm working with loads of different producers, loads of different songwriters, I'm trying to network, I'm trying to go to events, I'm trying to maintain a social life, I'm trying to maintain good mental health. Like, it is a busy... It's a busy schedule but I also love being busy and yeah, I spent a year 
basically stuck in a house. Um, and other things happened, but yeah, it wasn't the best for my mental health. So now, like, I almost like need to be busy. <laughs> You better update your relationship status. <laughs> do you support LGBT? Of course I do. Anyone that doesn't is just like stupid. Um, I can be your girlfriend. There we are. I'm no longer single, guys. I'm sorry. Um, can you beatbox? <laughs> Um, do you listen to K-pop songs? Not, like, religiously, but I do love a good fake laugh by BTS. It's a banging song. Um, but I did actually work with a songwriter today who wrote on BTS's album. Cool kid. Definitely check him out. He's amazing. Um, and, yeah, he's sick. And the song sounds sick, and I can't wait to continue working on it. Have you watched Vampire Diaries? I haven't, but I need to. I was wondering who inspired. Literally, so many people in. So many people have inspired me. So like to do social media. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers, but Connor Maynard used to do loads of like YouTube covers and like he used to do those sing offs, which I loved. And somebody called Toby Randa Randall or Randall. I literally can't seem to pronounce anything at this point, but I used to watch all his YouTube videos and he did Vine as well. And he was such a big inspiration because his voice is so good. Um, that kind of got me into like social media. Um, back when I was like 13, I used to post on YouTube, but don't go onto my YouTube and like look back at those covers because they are so bad. Um, but yeah, that kind of got me into it. And then... In terms of songwriting and wanting to be, like, an artist, I'd probably say, like, a lot of Taylor Swift's songwriting inspires me so much. Like, her albums, literally, she's one of those artists that doesn't have, like, a bad album. Every single album in its own way is so amazing. Thank you for the rose. Um, every single album of hers in its own way is so amazing. It's just consistent, like, amazing songs. I love the melodies, I love the lyrics, I love the concepts and the way that she performs them live and like turns them into like entire eras and like, I don't know, it's just like so inspiring. And then loads of other artists as well, but I'd say that's my main. Taylor's albums are all great, they are. What the hell were some of these questions? <laughs> How are you, Anka? Thanks. Fit check real quick. Guys, this is literally it. It's grey joggers. Okay, wait. You need to stand on my bed. It's grey joggers and a massive hoodie. Like, look how big it is. But this is the fit check. So yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a loungewear situation, but it's always good. And some of these questions are so random. How only 135 viewers? Only? That's a lot of viewers. I'm very grateful for that. But it probably hasn't gone up because I am, like, randomly talking about boring stuff. <laughs> but I'll do a proper live tomorrow and, like, sing some songs and stuff. How is Blue? Blue is great. Actually, he's annoying. I can't lie. He needs to stop barking at, like, 2 a.m. Actually, I'm awake at 2 a.m. What am I saying? He needs to stop barking, like, 4 a.m. Because it just... Ugh. His bark is so loud and he's right outside my room. So when he barks out of everyone in the family, I wake up because the, the wall between us is like tiny. Can you give me some voice tips? Of course. I mean, 
I am no expert, but, like, I always find, like, what what is so weird is I always found, like, when I was younger, when I used to sing, I used to intimidate other artists. Like, I literally listened to an Adele song, and then I put on the karaoke, and, like, it would be so funny, because I literally would try and sing, like, Adele, and I'd do the same for, like, a Sam Smith song, and the same for, like, a Shawn Mendes song, but, like, I feel like, biggest tip is find your voice, like, that's why, like, try and write a song, because then you're not influenced by anything else and it's like your voice and then when you cover a song put your like unique element on that and then in terms of like vocal technique these things they look like bongs but they're not they're like vocal steamers um they are like sick they like hydrate your voice and they keep it keep it nice and warm Obviously, warm up as well. Do you like pasta? I love pasta. I was about to say I love calamari. That's not pasta. What's the carbonara? That's it. <laughs> I was like, I just like brain freeze. And I was like, calamari? Nope, that's squid. Um, can you sing a song that relates to students? I can. I like, that's actually one topic I haven't. No, I think I had one video on that, like, ages ago. Um, but that is one topic that I barely have done. So, cheers for that, 100%. If you're British, yeah. I'm British, from the south of London. It's the UK Barbie and the... It's the UK Baddie and the Barbie, I've forgotten it. Do you like fidget? Do you mean they're like spinners? Do you remember? Who remembers when that was a thing? That was so funny. Love that kind of pasta. I know. What's your favourite song? At the moment, Fix You by Coldplay. It is a bop. Guys, I have like... <laughs> I was just reading this. And I'm not going to show you it because it's so embarrassing. But I wrote an entire workout routine on my bedside table. I don't know what that was, that was like five years ago. Can you read my questions? I honestly would, but this moment, I can't. What happened to a 202? Good question. Um, so Eddie left, as everyone knows, um, which totally like happy for him and I'm happy he's doing what he loves now. And I think it was the, probably the best decision at that time. Um, so, and then me and Luke were in a band for a little bit, but I think we both sort of realized like that it no, when it was no longer us three, it wasn't really going anywhere. But me and Luke are still, like, best friends. He still literally lives with me. And we go to college every day. And we'll be best friends for the rest of our lives. Um, but I just think the band itself didn't really have a massive future as the two of us. Um, so we sort of came to that mutual agreement. Oh, I think it just paused. Did it just pause? Um, anyways, what I was saying is we came to the mutual agreement that... I think it was better for us to say goodbye to the 202 and start exploring our own solo paths, but still working together, writing songs together, living together, going to college together, like being best friends. What song do you think is not good? I mean, there's a few, like, Obviously, there's songs that, like, no, people don't think are good, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. What's your favourite moment in 2021? Good question. Probably the tour. The tour was so good. Real friends stay with you after... After go through hard times. They do. They really do. Are you still friends with Eddie? Yeah. 100%. He literally came to my birthday party the other day. Um... When is your original song coming out? So, this is the question for you guys, because 
I wrote, like there's one called 18 that I dropped a little snippet on the other day. Like, do you want me to release that? Because honestly, it is about time I release something. And I've got, I have got big, big stuff coming. Like there's a entire plan ahead that in waiting to like execute. But in the meantime, like, yeah. I'm very, I like, I'm very excited for, like, the next chapter of Henry Moody. Not that there ever was, like, an original chapter, but, like, I'm so excited for the next chapter of my life, like, releasing music and performing and stuff like that, which hopefully happens. So just get ready, basically. And please stay followed. Please follow my Instagram as well, because I feel like TikTok you can like follow someone then easily like lose them with instagram like i'm always updating you guys on my stories and like you get to see a bit more of like my daily life and stuff so like if you don't follow my instagram please do that would mean a lot what is your favorite movie in 2022 honestly i barely watched any movies this year i watched this horror one called x the other day that was really good it was just like a classic horror, but it was so good. I like your Instagram account, thank you. Alright guys, I... Hey Fred, how are you? Um, I might go now. Are you in a band? I was, yeah. Um, okay guys, I might go now. Because I need to watch Elite. <laughs> that is like the funniest excuse, but um, I will probably do it. Thank you for the rose, Sophia. Sophie, sorry, don't know why dyslexia is like, but um, yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. I think I'll do a live stream. Um, in the meantime, I hope everyone's okay. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. Take care of yourselves. My DMs are open on Instagram. If you want to talk, I'm always there, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So, peace out. Hope everyone's okay, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but bye. <laughs>